Right, welcome to the uh, Wine Pleasures um, Wine Tasting Note. Um, you've probably just downloaded this off, the, off our website, winepleasures.com, and I'm just going to go through it as if I were you at home doing a, a tasting of uh, any wine you'd like, still wines this is for. Um, so first of all, we simply put the name of the winery in here. In this case, we're actually in the winery. Very fortunate, it's called Augustos. Today's date is the 4th? Uh, no, the 3rd. 3rd? 4th? 4th of September, I think it is. No. You're right, the 3rd. <laughs> and I'm trying here, simply, this cat doesn't have a name, it's just the name of the, of the, of the variety, variety, Cabernet Franc. And we're in the app appellation of Penedès. Okay, so we've got, we've got here a table of uh, common varieties found uh, with, particularly with Spanish wines. And in this particular case, I'm going to look for Cabernet Franc. And there it is. I'm going to write there 100, as it's 100% Cabernet Franc. Now, some of the information here I may not um, know, so I'm going to ask the, uh, the winemaker here, or I could get this information perhaps off their website. How would you, we have here, could you say, introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is uh, Enrique, and like, here the wine tourism like, manager in some way, the one who explains the wine, who makes the, who makes the, the tours, and now I'm, I'm going to explain you about this Cabernet. So how, how would you describe the, um, the soil here? What it's, can I put? It's a very poor soil. It's poor soil. Like, it's very stony, the kind of stones, stones. is uh, and that limestones. Limestone. Limestones. Okay. And the Cabernet Franc, what, what altitude are the vines above sea level? Around 50, 60 meters, because okay. we're just right in front of the sea. And how old would you say, the, how old are the vines approximately? Around, uh, around 20 years. 20 years, okay. Now, if, if I were to, to buy this wine today in this um, in, in Augustus winery, mm -hmm. how, how much would it cost? It's going to be around 950, 10 euros. Okay. And this is the 2007 Seven. Seven harvest yeah. with an alcohol content? 14%. 14%. This information incidentally is, is actually on the label, uh -huh. um, which I'm going to actually stick onto the sheet. Here, and there, and let's see if I can get that information in there. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got uh, the variety, the fermentation, temperature, mm -hmm. and time, amount of time in barrel, uh, when it was bottled, and serving temperature suggestion. Mm -hmm. So. The, the oak barrels that, that have been used in this, how, how old are they? Are they brand new or...? The first year we use them for the, uh, for the Chardonnay, for the white, and the second year it goes for the Cabernet Franc. So they are okay. second year oak barrels. And the bottling date is actually 17th of June 2009. Nine. That's on the, on the bottle. And how long is it aged in the bottle before you release it? Two months. Two months. Two months. So yes, and two months. And how many bottles were made of this wine? You can read it here as well. So it's a production. Okay, just get my glasses. 4,480. 4,480. Okay, so very limited production. Right, well thank you very much. We're, we're going to um, have a look at the colour now. So as you see we've got the table here. Obviously we're looking at reds. So if we look at the colour here, what we'll say that's probably slight Looking here, particularly the the rim, so it's not quite orangey yet. But I would say on here probably cherry, cherry berry, somewhere somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to circle here for the colour, and then we come to aromas. On your PDF at the back, you'll find a list of common aromas. Uh, which we don't have here today, but uh, so to help you detect the aromas. So what aromas are we getting here? On the, yeah, on the, the cabinet the front. front. So we said we can... I, I, it's quite I, a lot of spices there. Yeah, but 
particularly the, uh, what do you call that, nail looking clothes. There's definitely some fruits in the forest. Blackberries. Plums. So all these I'm going to put down here. So I'm doing it very quickly. Plums, berries, cloves, spices. We'd have to take a bit more time. And uh, obviously it's just best, best done in a, in a small group at home. And you can get lots and lots of aromas from it. Now the taste. This might seem a bit um, daunting, but we have here uh, simply eight things we're going to evaluate. And what we're going to do is chunk it up. So we're going to do sweetness, acidity first. Swallow it. Well, it's certainly not a sweet wine, so acidity, I'm going to put something there. Zero here being not at all acidic and here being extremely acidic. Next two I'm going to look at is oak and tannins. Tannins is, uh, you can evaluate by the sensation of chalk in the, in the mouth. If you've a lot of chalk then there's high tannins. Small chalky sensation, not so much tannins. And for oak, this is um, evaluated in terms of how buttery the, uh, the, the wine is in the mouth. It's very, very buttery greasy, then it's high oak, and if it's like almost water, then very low oak. So it's fairly, um, fairly greasy there, so I'm going to give it a three, and tannins would have expected more, but uh, I'm going to put there two for tannins. Didn't get much of a chalky sensation there. For body, I need to um, pick up the right glass. And we can simply evaluate this by looking at the, the tears, if we can, viscosity of the, the wine. Basically, the slower they fall and the wider apart they are, the more body it has. The closer together they are and the faster they fall, the less body it has. So that's um, quite well bodied, I would say. I'm going to give that three. And complexity is really based, back, going back to the aromas, if you're going, getting two levels of aromas, fruit and uh, from the oak, and, and indeed in the mouth it's quite complex as we've got the tannins and the oak and so on. So I'm going to say it's fairly, fairly complex wine. And the finish is how long does it linger in the, in the, in the throat? short finish or a long finish? Well, that's a fairly short finish. Okay, so balance, finally. With all that in mind, does, um, do you think it's a balanced wine or not? Well, I think that's fairly well balanced. I'm going to give it four. So, all I do now is join up the dots. And there I have a visual representation of my opinion of the wine. And everybody's, everybody's uh, will be different. What, uh, if you find yourself, you can't decide, if you find yourself at number three, you think the wine is pleasant, then you have to ask yourself, would I buy it or not? If the answer is yes, then you have to give it four. If the answer is no, then you have to give it two. Okay, well thank you very much and I hope you enjoy uh, your wine, this wine tasting note sheet and it's fun at home to uh, use with friends, family, wine, wine clubs and so on. Thank you.